Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I am just sorting out one or two last things. Give me one second, I'll be on with the live stream. Okay, so before we get into everything, a short little recap. Well, actually, let's get the formalities out of the way first. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you actually stick around, enjoy the stream as much as you can. If you are watching this after the fact, I do post all of my live streams to YouTube, so go subscribe, go show some love there, I really would appreciate it. And if you can help spread the word, help support the content so I can bring you better content. It really would mean a lot to me. So a short little recap. We are not trying to follow any kind of bill guide. Um, we are not trying to follow somebody else's work. I am trying to create a build with the limited knowledge I've got, with the assistance of people in chat, etc, etc. I am by no means in any form or way good or an expert in this game. That's for sure. So... I'm trying to put together everything and try and figure out how I can make a build viable with a skill that is not necessarily meta. So in order to do that, right now we are running... We are busy running a Cobra Lash build. And we are trying to see if it can be made viable. Right now, I'm not hating it. But I am a bit concerned about damage. And leading into survivability as well. Now, we haven't done much. We've only finished off Act 1. We're starting with Act 2 now. The progress is a lot slower because there's a lot of discussions happening. In between to try and figure out what's going to be the best next move for me. And also trying to plan for when we get to that end game point. So, short little overview. Right now, these are the skills that I have applied to give you an idea of which direction we are going. From here, we are trying to go down to Clever Thief. Then we are going to move our way up towards um, Claws of the Magpie. And then after that, we are going to go for Mark of the Prey. Well, Mark the Prey. And hopefully by the time we get there, our damage is decent, our survivability is decent, and we can start getting our resistances and everything sorted out. But yeah, so we are trying to see how viable we can make this. So, stick around, grab some popcorn, chat, and engage. Everybody's welcome. Okay, so we've got that active. It's already an upgrade for the mana flask. So one of the reasons why we chose uh, Cobra Lash is because I like the fact that it targets a main enemy, maintains its damage, and then bounces between targets. And it automatically selects which targets it is. It doesn't just, like other skills, impact and then split into random directions. This actually targets. Uh, okay, so now we're going to start with the survivability. Gain 4 life per enemy hit with attacks and 2 mana. Yeah. 
think that's where the sniper's mark is going to come into play. Specifically for that single target damage. Because that is one thing I am not the happiest about. Clearing, not bad. Single target damage, kind of sucks. And that's my concern right there. The single target damage really sucks. Hopefully that is something we can rectify as a new one. But it means that things like I know are going to be difficult. That single target wasn't too bad. And we're back to the front. Cool. And we are one more follower away from the follower um, goal that we've set. And we'll be able to tank through that. That's fine. Okay. I also just want to make sure the mic is loud enough that everybody can actually hear me. I think there's going to be a need for any uniques but we're definitely going to keep an eye out for any potential unique claws i actually need to have a look in my stash because for some reason i have been hoarding uniques so i actually need to go have a look and see if there's anything that's potentially worth it for me Okay, so we can finally grab Clever Thief. So now we can leech them, we can leech life and mana. So that potentially means that we are no longer going to need clarity. So we should have the mana reservations for something better. Did mm, I spark something? No, I didn't. Like I said, at this point, I still don't know how I feel about this build. Damage doesn't seem horrible. I mean, we're at 251 DPS. I don't know if that's a true reflection of what we're actually doing, but... It doesn't seem horrible right now. General trash mobs are an issue. Single target sucks. Hopefully something we can rectify.
my goal for this is not necessarily bossing my goal for this is to see if we can clear the goal is t7 t8 maps see if it is viable to that point but i think honestly i think yeah by act six we're gonna start running into problems Bound and void manipulation. You won. It's definitely not the fastest clearer, but it's not doing bad either. Mm, once again, not bad. A single target. Sucks though. Yeah, having that mana life leech is definitely a big thing. And trust me, at this point, the gear is nothing spectacular. It's just something i got to try and get as much damage as I can out of the current weapons. I don't even know what my resistances are at. 12, 68, and 3. I'm sorry. Cold, I'm good. Everything else is shit. Yeah, it's not, it's not bouncing horribly. Target damage really sucks. I don't need to worry about this tendency trial because we've already unlocked everything. I just need to actually do it when I get to Act 3. I actually think I've asked this question before. Is there anybody that actually likes the ascendancy trial? <coughs> I hate it. 10% of leech is instant from life. Hmm. Get back to that now. I just want to see if I can't kill off this last thing. And mask portal. This thing is definitely doing a lot more damage than the previous ones. But that's okay. Ooh, I've got afflicted by something. There we go. Do we want to do this? I'm going to leave that for now. We can always come back to it. I want to start getting into the damage notes. Start seeing what the true potential of this build actually is. I know it's still very early days. But I'm curious.
The damage really sucks. Said, I'm gonna probably end up taking a lot longer with certain areas. I'm probably gonna be over leveled for a good chunk of the inf of the game, but it kind of tastes a lot. So please forgive me. Yeah, he's gonna be dead. That's not a problem. Okay, got that. Grab the golden hand, let's get out of here. Make it far. Oh, great a mana flask. Oh, already got one. Sell the mask. Sell the ring. I'm good. Travel far. Do what? Mm. Twenty-three, that's twenty-four, but this has got some multiplier, so. Let's have a look what that's got for me. Goodbye. Maximum life, lightning resistance, physical stunt. No, those those modifiers are shit. What we can do, however, is let's swipe them. And let's grab a new one. That is still shit. Strength, maximum life, reduces flash, charge, use, stun, this... It's still shit. I'm not getting anything good on these things. Energy shield, increase fl flash recovery rate. Nope. Let's try this. Item is not armor. You would think it is. That looks better. So we've got strength, maximum life, regeneration, maximum mana core resistance, and increased flash recovery rate. That is good. And we've got 14% cold resistance over there. Okay, so we're not getting rid of this ring <coughs> anytime soon. 30% cold resist plus an additional 12%. So that's giving us 42% cold resist just off of that ring. The fire damage is useless because we don't do any elemental damage. So that stays. That's decent. Now, physical damage wanted to is... It's negligible. It's nothing important. I mean, we go from 250, take it off, to 219. It's negligible damage. The mana regeneration is nice. The light resistance is good. But hold on. Where's my resistance is at? Okay, so my cold is capped. My fire is shit. My lightning is roughly about half of where it needs to be. Let's keep moving on and let's keep leveling. Oh, we can't take this, and let's start moving across to there. Yeah, not shit, not great, not horrible, not good. I can live with it, but it's definitely one of those things that's gonna need work. That eye ring might be more beneficial for us, we're gonna have to see. Counters. Once again, I've got no idea if this is going to be good or not. 
one of those builds we're just trying to figure out. Test it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, another physical damage. 1 to 4, 1 to 2, 1 to 4, 3 to 5. That's better. Why is everything giving me cold resist like I'm already kept out on cold? Thank you to the very quick viewer that popped in. I do appreciate it. A view, even 10 seconds, is better than nothing. And if I need to go into there. So if we're currently doing 250 with that, and we say apply over there, that goes to 262. Okay, so this is what we want, definitely. Your travel. And kill. Damage sucks. Leeching, I'm able to get through it. All that flashy sword swinging when all you need is one. No, don't want that. Okay. The waypoint is right there, so I'm not going to bother wasting enough portal to get back to town. Sniper's more contagion and whatever that was. Let's keep moving. myself trying to get to that shit. Yeah, I, I know I was doing most of the damage, so... <coughs> I can't say I'm attributing to that in any form of way. I've seen some dark places in my line of work, but this is something. Sorry, just give me one moment. <clears throat> My throat is so freaking dry. That wasn't too bad, actually. 292. Why 292? What made it go up? What made it go up? The projectile speed is also very slow. That might be something that's going to bite me in the butt later down the line. Potentially, maybe. I don't know. Again, it's not great, but it's not shit either. It's not this mark definitely does its thing.
let's see how it does against something actually somewhat decent. When I fought, um, I think it's Brutus, the damage was still shitty, like beyond shitty. So I'm hoping that at this point, the damage output is better. It's all stick speculation right now. Yeah, damage output is not good. Increased life recovery, grants. I'll do that as a backup. It's not the greatest in the world, but I've got a backup at least. Cold resistance, physical damage. Another cold amulet. And let's grab this. Damage is going up, that's what we want. The Oriasin go. Herald of Agony, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ash, Herald of Bite. What's Herald of Agony? More poison damage. I need that because everything we're doing is ailments. So Herald of Agony is definitely going to be one that I got to take. I've got the slot for it as well. And the last thing is, should we be too low on mana re reservation? Oh my God, that was a difficult word. If we're too low on mana reservation, we can always turn off clarity because I've got the leech now. I shouldn't have any issues with mana or health, but you never know. Now I want to go see what else was available that I could potentially use to my benefit. Which is Mark? Does, does my current Mark do Sniper's Mark? Okay, okay. Field. Charge the shock. Oh. In the target location. Extra projectiles towards enemies around you. It'll kill damage. I don't know what that is. I want to see what it looks like. Your mana to ground a buff that takes some of the damage from hits for you until depleted. Blade Blast. Don't know what that does either. I just want to see what it looks like. It's snaring arrow, summon skitterbots, wave of conviction. Held the wagon we've already got, and I think there's nothing else that we want yet. Frenzy. I want to grab Frenzy and grab Blood Rage as well, because I think I think there might be benefits to having those. And potentially grabbing Mana Forged as well. Because doesn't Mana Forge and Frenzy work well together? Hold on. I want to check this. Damn you. Stay sharp out there. Quite the lady. I thought you were... Uh, Mana Forged. Where is it? I can't remember. Is it Mana Forged? There it is. Mana Forged. Attack causing the trigger when you've spent enough mana in total on other bow attacks. Cannot modify. Shit. Mana Forged is only for bows. I don't know if there is a version of Mana Forge that applies to things like daggers or... Goodbye. Questions, questions that I do not have the answers to. Could 
Good evening, Master. I'm busy testing out some random shit quickly. Oh god, okay, that uses health. Nope, we're not gonna do that. I'm just testing out some random shit that I saw. Blade Blast. What does this do? Okay, interesting. Frenzy. It gives your character a chance of frenzy. There's a way, Maestro. It's a good thing you're here. I need some clarity on this. There was a way that you can automate your frenzy buildup. Oh, that's pretty cool. Blood Rage. See, that loss was seven typical number time based on life. Now, what does Blood Rage actually do? So, okay, so Blood Rage increases the damage. I've already got pretty decent life leech. The reason why I'm asking is because because um, you can use Frenzy and I think it's Mana Forged or something like that that once a certain percentage of mana has been used it activates the skill meaning while I'm using my normal attacks I will randomly get a Frenzy buff in the background. Same with Blood Rage, I think. I can't remember now. I'm just trying to think of additional buffs that I can use. Along with Herald of Agony. That will help my overall damage output. Bow or a wand. You see, that's what I thought because I had a look at... Um, I went to go have a look at Mana Forged and Mana Forged obviously only works on... Um, bow attacks. I don't think any of those things is going to be a good good for me. speed lightning resistance yeah i think these things are things that i thought i could use but i'm not going to be able to use them
gonna go to the wetlands, get the waypoint unlocked, kill the dude, and then. Ooh, that was close. Can you up this way? So we've got that waypoint, now we need to find this dude to check What you get for bringing a stick to a knife. A trouble. Uh, let's go back there. Let me grab that back, thank you. Reduce charges. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that. I seriously need to start thinking about my resistances. My cold is maxed out, but everything else is shit. You'll get your day go, Maestro. My day was shit. It felt like there was four days in one. It took forever. It was not the best day. stay either. I hope you're good though, brother. Hoping it wasn't bad news or anything and just a, a busy day.
Hopefully you at least have a good night with your POE to kind of make up for it. If not, at least I hope that you're enjoying the stream. Generally not for me, got work in the morning. Okay. Is it gonna be another ridiculously long shift? Damn, but that's insane. another 24 hours on a Sunday. Okay, that sucks. I mean, it's like, you, it's like you said before, you work a lot of hours, but it kind of like balances out because you get a lot of time off. That must make up for it somewhat, right? Balance in all things. Ooh, are you getting a promotion? The king of rats. Promotion, brother, we need to celebrate. Okay, but a sideways move for the better, right? To another department. Okay. For the sake of hours now i can imagine that 24 hour stuff i mean i would die uh whirling blade trap and mind damage elemental focus deadly ailment support that is something we definitely want right replace void manipulation support with deadly ailment support Ooh, no, 80% less damage with hits. So literally it's going to be all of the damage is going to go towards poison. And all I'm actually gaining is an 8% damage. Trap. 
Action that you support. Support a skill hit enemies causing them to gain bonuses while you have resource. All three elements. And the ground resonance elements other than highest hit. The Trinity support is going to be useless on this build, right? Because we're not doing any elemental damages. Correct. Okay, so that's pointless for this. I'm still thinking about this deadly ailment. The 80% loss in damage with the hits, but gaining the 30% more damage with ailments. That doesn't feel like it's worth it, not with the 80% loss that we're taking. I gave part. Farewell. My help is yours. I need that. I'm going to potentially have to use that. That's going to come off. I don't want to think about the loss in damage that I'm getting from that because I need to start making up resistances. So 3975, 26. <clears throat> Not the greatest, but I'm going to live with that for now. Lightning. Okay, so here's one of the big scenes that we wanted. Claws of the magpie. Increased damage, increased in speed, and 25% chance to steal power, friends, and endurance charges on hits with claws. Nice. Apply. If you're going a crit route, it's probably going to be void manipulation, night blade, crit chance, crit multi, and either momentum or enhance. You see, I'm going to need that information later on when I get there. I think it's going to be a while before we reach level 65, 68 around there. Specifically because how much slower we're taking this, because I'm trying to understand a lot more. Because I think based on the discussion that we had last night, the, the change over to crit is only going to happen way later. Is there anything that I want over here? I don't think I'm going to waste skill points into masteries right now. However, that 10% of leech is instant per equipped claw. So I'm effectively going to have 20% instant leech. Or that first one, 25, gain 25 life per enemy hit with main hand claw attacks. And 25 mana per enemy hit with off hand claw attacks. Or do I just ignore that for now? Because I know critical strike chance is something we're going to have to go into later on. But I'm not doing critical chance right now, so there's going to have to be a respec. So I want to move down to this next. Marked enemies, specifically because I'm using sniper's mark. In my brain, that makes sense. Mm, wait, I'm going into the Vol Ruins. I need to maybe think about sorting out my uh, fire resistance. Okay, what level am I? Level 23. So we need to be careful, whatever we enchant, to not be more than that. Probably can't put fire on this. Yeah, because it's already got fire. Can I add fire to this? Nope. Can't add fire to that. Oh, hold on. This thing's not even... Oh, okay. That needs to change. I don't have the base gear. The gear is going to change. So don't judge me. Do 
Dexterity, cold damage, physical damage. The cold damage is useless. The dexterity is nice though. Life is decent. I can live with that for what I'm trying to do right now. Anything else that's just randomly blue. Make it out of that movement. However, do I have movement as a level 54? Yeah, I can't do that yet. Okay, so let's do that. Can I put on resistance onto that? No, I can't. Thank you. Uh, fire resistance. What level did I say I was? Level 23. Yeah, okay, so I need to be careful not to do that one. Fire resistance. Let's take that for now. That'll work. 59, that's not horrible. The helmet is completely boring, so let's just throw something on the helmet. More cold resist. It's ridiculous. Of course, they want me to take off everything. There we go. Fire resistance, lightning resistance, reflects to physical... Okay. That I can work with. Because that gave me the... Lightning resistance became better. Fire resistance became better. It's still not great, but it's... It's better. It's good enough for what I need right now. I have got this sneaky suspicion that this is a build that's going to fall off very quickly and become very bad very quickly. I've got a sneaky suspicion. I think this is going to be something that's going to drop really soon. I don't think I'm going to make it past Act 5 with this. I think the damage loss is just too much. But I tell you what, if this fails, then we'll go on to that Righteous Fire Bolt. Strike. Which was a Viper Strike again? Shadow is stuck. 
Starting skill. Oh shit, okay. None of these fucking uniques are there today. Oh, fuck all of them. Not interested. Just die already. Oh my gosh. Maestro, I have a question for you. Is there a build that a person can follow that is like one skill? Not all the supporting skills are like the buffs and that kind of stuff, but like something that is a skill that works good for both single target as well as for clearing mobs. Just fire is using forget sort of skill. I think righteous fire is definitely going to be the the way to go. Now my only thing is I don't know if I should try and push this bull to see how far we can get it. Or if I should just abandon this bull and we will do something like righteous fire. Yeah, shield shot for moving around. You see, I don't mind the skill for moving around, like what I'm currently using the um, the whirling blades for. The only skill you'd be using is be fire trap. Yeah.
Now, that's also something. I'm not sure if this build is potentially going to fail due to something I fucked up and how I'm specking the points or if it's just a shit skill. Or if it's a mixture of both. But I've got this funny feeling it's probably due to because I've got no fucking idea which way to actually go with the skill points. Probably both. Yeah, true. There's no arguing facts. You see, that's just it. That's the thing I'm trying to learn is how to go from being a complete idiot to somewhat understanding the concept of why certain things do what. At what level do you actually start using um, Righteous Fire? I hope it's not one of those builds where you only truly start using its capabilities like 90% of the way through the game. And I think that's one of the things why I wanted to use a skill that you get relatively early. Because then you can enjoy the act with that ability. I know that the acts aren't the content, but I mean, that's where most people... Okay, not most people, because most people actually know what the fuck they're doing. Usually around 38. Okay, so you're a decent way into the game. So what are you running up until you get that point? Let me guess, it's the mixture of Freezing Pulse or Rolling Magma or something like that, right? Yep, thought so. Okay, so let's see how shit this build is. I think this fight is going to determine whether I am going to continue from this point onwards or not. Or if I'm just going to have to do a straight switch. Because I think this fight is going to give me a nice indication as to how this is doing. Is there anything I can grab that's going to give me more damage? Right now. Doesn't look like it. I was honestly expecting to die about four times in that fight. I did not think I was gonna first try it. Not with the skill.
So I'm in two minds now, because that damage in that fight wasn't completely shit. Could have been faster. I've seen a lot slower. So the damage wasn't completely shit, so I don't know if I should just stick it out and see where this build can go, or if it's one of those things that I'm just wasting a lot of time and energy. Read life and death with equal graces. If I were dead, I'd take offense at that. The dog damage is still horrible. Even with the sniper's mock. That is horrible. This is insane. Are you seeing this bullshit? Like, this is bad. <laughs> this is really fucking bad. My shadow continues to nip She's gonna fuck my shit up. hurts a lot okay well she said enough of this so she died that fight's over Maestro, can you link me that um, Righteous Fire Bolt, please? Tell me. 
Mm, the bloody conductivity frostbite. I'm just gonna grab whatever because I'm probably not gonna be able to use any of that shit. Tread carefully, Exile. Victoria will bring me back something nice, huh? Okay. That's what the goal was. The goal was to get to there. The goal was to get to there. All the damage that I do already does poison, as far as I know. It's not a percentage base. It didn't require the deck, was it? Pox is generally required as the main RF guy. Okay, I'll see if I can't find a build for that. Dedicated to the build. Well, fuck me sideways. Okay. Wait, follow up question. Is Righteous Fire one of those builds that requires very expensive uniques or requires a lot of currency to be somewhat decent. On a 20c budget. <clears throat> okay. So it's been nerfed, but you want to get a T16 maps on 20c budget. Now, that's the thing. I'm hearing about all these builds that are constantly being built, um, being nerfed. And then it comes down to where is the best place to actually look because obviously we've got the PoE builds, we've got PoE vaults, and then we've got obviously max roll. PoE ninja. Okay, let's have a look quickly. Okay, I've got PoE ninja over here. So we're just gonna go. Wait, is this standard? So self found no. Do they have an option for just standard? Leveling guides and stuff. Yeah. You see, for someone like me, I'm definitely gonna need a leveling guide. Because the path of building is just fucking confusing to read. I never know what I'm looking at. There's always so much shit on the screen. Experience depth. Hmm. Okay. Gonna have to definitely climb into this and have a look what I can see. It's just, yeah, sometimes the um, path of building. I can never follow that shit because I never know what they actually want from me.
Okay, so I already do poison damage with this. So I don't want the chance to poison because I've already got full poison. So where would be the next point that we go to? Suppress spell damage, that's bow damage. Martial of blades. Okay, that's trap damage, traps. Doom cost. Come down to here. That's attack speed. I think this is where I run into the biggest issue because this path for me to get to where I am now, this seemed clear. Yeah, this seemed like this was a no brainer. Got to this point. Awesome. How the fuck do I go from here? I think I don't have a choice. I think I'm just going to have to start a new character. Look for another build and try and follow a different build guide. But unfortunately, the first thing I have to do is actually find a Righteous Fire build. Life is always good. True, true. I mean, I'm only on 411 right now, so... Life is always good, but you want to grab life as you head off in certain directions so i need a direction do i go up do i go down do i go left do i go right do I branch off from here chaos damage over time multiplier might be really good it lingers a lot longer does more damage so not bad ailments from critical strike Okay, so I think I've got some homework to do. Definitely, I need to find a a righteous fire build that is still somewhat decent that I can actually follow along with when you want, yeah. Because you save my ass way too many fucking times. So that does attack projectile and chaos. Okay, so attack nodes are up there, but obviously that's attack for everything. Uh, let's actually search chaos. Okay, so there's chaos up there. Chaos resistance, increased damage with poison. Fatal toxins. That doesn't seem bad. 10% damage over time multiplier for poison. 10% chaos resistance. Eh, it's just a bonus. And then 30% increased damage with poison. Doesn't seem bad at all. That's for the bows, so that's going to be pointless. Okay, so there's no chaos down. Where is most of the chaos damage on this thing? Up here. Damage is extra chaos damage. What is my current physical damage on this? 14 to 38. Not the greatest, not the best, but could be better. Ninety-seven to two hundred. Fuck! If I'm understanding this, I want to get this. So one, two, so there, there, up oh, there, and then there. Go through to that. See, but that's just chance to poison. That's going to be three wasted skills. God damn. Okay. 
I'm winging it at this point because I honestly have got no idea which way to go. I don't want to end the stream right now until I'm not going to look for a righteous fire bolt on stream. So that's something I'm going to have to find on my own. And then potentially tomorrow start the righteous fire bolt. So that means this series is a flop. Three episodes in, we're only on Act 3, and this build has basically fallen flat on its face. Don't you just love it when you've got absolutely incompetent streamers? Tricorn, that's my first four link. Yay. You were excited for this build. Which one? This one. excited for this build well then brother i think what's maybe then the best chance to do is for me to actually find a build that is actually tailored towards cobra lash follow that and see how we can do it or do you want to stick with the 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 hodgepodge that we're trying to create here maybe you can answer that before you run off to bed I don't have the knowledge to be able to make that decision. And maybe it's something we can salvage. Maybe it's something we've got to do. And obviously, at the end of the day, I still got to make sure that the people who are watching, which is you, are happy with the content. So if you want to see us stick it out, we'll stick it out. sounds incredibly boring well then it's simple we don't do rf we'll try and stick with this mod podge try and make it work between the two of us i think you have got the <laughs> skill to be able to make this somewhat decent it might require a pretty massive respec but why the fuck not let's make this work Sounds good. Well, then it's simple. We stick with this build. Let's make this shit work. But let me not keep you any further, brother. I hope you have a good night further. Get some rest. And I hope tomorrow actually ends up being a better day than today was. Good night, man. And thank you very much for the support. I do appreciate it. Yes. 
so we grab those. Increased poison duration, I like that. And then fatal toxin. Yeah, this is something that could potentially get good. Maybe. We need to keep looking out for gear upgrades. I think the gear is also going to be a big increase to our damage. To our survivability. Yeah. I'm trying to make decisions too early on a build that is too young. Fuck, I mean, we've barely started it, so we can't call whether it's going to be good or not. And a flask, 66% reduced amount, hell no. Okay, but now that we've got that, that's actually got the Unbound L Support, Cobra Lash, and Void Manipulation. That could potentially be very good if we can get something else to support that on there. We're gonna have to look at that for sure. That's my damage is like five twenty eight. Damage is low, but it's okay. Not looking shit. Not as shit as I thought it would be. Just gotta give it a fair chance. Single target damage on that seems to be getting better. I think that's just due to the long prolonged exposure that then I have.
Okay, so that's not looking bad. The life leech is saving my ass many times over. Let's grab this waypoint. Let's head back this way. There's potential. There is potential. I should not be so quick to judge it on whether it's going to be good or not. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, we definitely don't want plate. What is plate bearer? Use this again to begin infection. Do chaos damage over time to give our enemies until the plague early is depleted. And apply to this skill to choosing this skill. Fuck knows what that's supposed to do. Spell Chaos AoE. Let's have a look what that does. In the meantime, let's sell off that, that, and that. You get in there. And then let's see, do you have any claws for me? That's level 30. 14 to 38, 16 to 43. So it's the next level. Let me just take it. There's a potential that might be good for me. It's definitely an increase in damage. 10 to 34, 7 to 23. This is 14 to 38. That's not horrible. That I can't use simply due to my intelligence. I'm too fucking stupid. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's put this shit away. Drop this down there. Keep that. Keep that. Now. Clarissa, I don't think you've got anything for me. Oh, you might. Temporal chains. Lowering their action speed and making their effects on their x more slowly. I don't do elemental damage, don't do frostbite, despair. Despair might not, might not be too bad, we might be able to... It's a hex. We might, might, might be able to replace or we'll just add this to there. Okay, we'll have to have a look at that one. See you. Uh, for now, let's just go back to the battlefront. So this works such as so. Let's test this. Uh, let's first grab this. What does this do? Poison you flick deal damage 20% faster. That could be nice. Kills them off a lot quicker. Can do a critical strike. Shook up 3% off. Poison enemies. Plague bearer has 20% increased maximum plague value. Twenty percent faster damage to the person. That was not bad. I kind of maybe like that. Let's try this. I get rid of everything else. Take off contagion. Despair in its place. And the only thing affecting it is that FSC can deal 80% more damage over time. Void manipulation, deal more chaos damage. That I am not interested in for right now. So let me try this. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And then we add that on as well. Crowbalash. 
So everything. Void manipulation support is not. Oh, because I've already got one on. Okay, I need to find a different support for that. Okay, I've lost the intelligence, the maximum life, the resistances, and the reflects to physical damage. I've lost that for a tricorn. That has given me more evasion rating. And now I've got the issue of you cannot use either because my intelligence is too low. Okay, before we go anywhere, we need to go fix my intelligence. I'm too stupid. I am too goddamn stupid. So let's see if we can't fix that quickly. So, can I take this? Put that there. Shit, what level am I? 29. I can't put that on there. I can do that. And then say craft. Okay, so that fixes a lot. That fixes a lot, but I would much rather first do this. Drag it down. Unfortunately, you have to disappear from me, good sir. I'm going to make you wriggle you and backside you. Fire resistance, lightning resistance, increase them. Perfect. That's all I wanted. Now, I am hoping and praying that I can still add the intelligence back to you. Come on, allow me to. Yes, I can still add intelligence. 16, craft, 24 intelligence. I like that. Evasion rating, fire resistance, lightning resistance, rarity, increased evasion rating, increased stun at block chance. Okay, that's already a massive upgrade. That's already looking a lot better. Now slowly but surely we need to start doing that with the rest of the gear. I need something else to go on here that's going to help with this void manipulation. My damage at the moment is okay. That we're gonna do. Nope, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take that off. Okay, so that is clarity. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can turn back on. Why not? Let's go to the docks and see what we can figure out of here. So, my level up. What do I want next? Blinded to look to get frenzy. Marked enemies cannot deal critical on your turns when marked enemy dies. Yes, I want that. Where it can transfer.
bad, not great, not good, not amazing. Definitely gonna move that over. Five two seven. Five seven four. Okay, so that was a bit of a damage increase using that one now. Let me just to get that one upgraded. I actually think I fucked up. I don't think I actually did fair grades. No, there's no ways I didn't do fair grades. No, I did do fair grades. Yeah, I'm 100% sure I did fair grades. Because I was still using the dagger at that point. use any modifiers to critical strike yet life is obviously going to be a big thing for me damage over time multiplier I think that's going to be a good thing go up into that Not a speck of dust or brick out of place. Someone's got too much time on their hands. life lost reduce the amount hell no we'll take that we'll put you there thank you very much exceal you go there you go there you go there I can't remember who that was for plague bearer what does plague bearer do deal less damage with poison and add to the plague while you inflict poison while infecting it to be divided 
to surround enemies. I don't know what that does. I'm just testing some shit right now. Oh, okay, so every single time you go into a new area, that disappears. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Uh, Black Bear, no. Base is in 10.5 seconds. 10.75. And the cost enemies have 70% increased. Just take this because I don't actually like the rest of it. Now we get the that thing, and we should be good now. Okay, so now we can get through the. Now we can get through the sewer. So let's go there. Let's go back to the sewer. on encampment. Come over here. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Bring me back something nice, eh? This guy gonna give me you nothing. Absolutely fuck all. Why? Because you dick. I 
actually. Sorry. I want to check something. Do you have another claw for me? A claw that is decent. No, you don't fucking actually have any claws. What the hell, dude? Got a shield. No claw. Well, fuck you, man. Okay, let's see how this goes. Wasn't too horrible. Was not the biggest fan of it though. Okay, so I don't have the intelligence to wear any one of those two. I know for a fact I'm not gonna have the intelligence for that. So I need to think about it at some point. Reduce charges per use, removes curses. That is a benefit every single day of the week. I honestly thought my damage would be my lifesteal would be able to eat through that. Apparently not. Thought it would do a lot more than that. Wow. Okay, survivability is currently a big problem. Currently a very, very big problem. Trap damage, increased damage, critical structure on sticks, dexterity and intelligence. Invasion rating. Where is that chaos? I need to think about grabbing health as I go. Let's grab that for now. God. That's instant. I can't beat that. I've died, what, four times already just from that? I'm not going to be able to fight this general. I'm going to fall off so badly trying to fight this general. That was ridiculous. That was honestly ridiculous. Had I killed you back in Over five seconds. 
170 mana over 4.5. Yeah, this is much better than what I've currently got. Still shit though. Okay, so single target is a problem. Survivability is a problem. I need to get... I need to get survivability sorted out ASAP. My shit is squishing. Okay, so I think the next couple of levels has to be focused on health. If not, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Critical strike chance. You see, that would be fucking phenomenal, but it's shit. It or poopy. 49% increased physical damage. If I take this off, 592, 65. So if I do that and do that and take that off. What's your my critical strike chance is still gonna be fuckler? What is my critical strike? Six percent, yeah, it's it's not worth it. How many do we roll both of these? The damage increase is nice, but how this is going. This is going to be nice, definitely. Get your shield, maximum life. Life, life. Not a good choice. It's going to increase that and it's going to increase that. More health is better. 
Increase critical strike chance with claws. Let's see that striker. I don't need striker now. Damage over time regenerate. Uh, damage over time is good. Time if you started taking damage over time in the past. Second, 100% more duration on ailments on you. That's bad. That is really fucking bad. However, coming up to here, physical damage, physical damage, physical damage, physical damage as extra chaos damage. It's not going to be bad, but obviously you want to get into this as well. Maximum life becomes one. My maximum life becomes one and I'm immune to chaos damage. Even life itself, that just seems stupid. Effects of your curses. Additional curse. Ooh, yes. Gotta go up towards that. Okay. Just try. Okay, so I know which I'm gonna go now. Go up this way. Increase damage, man. Generation rate, in intelligence. Up to the. Up to the. To there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Okay. I have got a direction that I want to go in. Okay. Got you. Longest way to run just for dead end. I didn't have that on for some reason. 637. Did I go the right way? Yeah, it goes to a dead end, so it must be the opposite route. missing something. Can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way. What did I fuck up? fuck is going on here? What did I miss? Oh, 
can't go anywhere else. Did I fuck something up? Iron ball of lightning, flamethrower trap, lightning spire trap, seismic trap, blade fall, hex blast, hex blast? Strike, soul wind, cremation, charge dash, blade fury. Just fucking take hex blast. I don't know what it does, but it's something. Why are you still standing there? Something doesn't seem right there. This right. Tread carefully. Find by the laboratory and killer. Oh my god, a little corner hidden. When you're not paying attention. Backtracking. It's gonna take me back to the entrance. I need to keep moving down. Maximum life, energy shield, energy shield, maximum life regeneration, cold damage resistance. Energy shield 28, evasion rating. Okay, so this is better in every single way. I just need to upgrade it.
Okay, so I think that's the last time I'm gonna level up clarity. Up. Then life point we killed and got the energy shield burn we killed. Fine by that it means more survivor. Survivability right now is the name of the game. And I went the wrong way. God damn I hate this maze in here sometimes. for me. Back to town quickly. We crash control show to Lunar's temple. Yes. Night. Bring me back something nice. Let's put away all of this important shit. Divination cards, I don't know spots for them, so we're just gonna dump it in there for now. Attract cold resistance, dexterity. Uh, Two other weapons, other weapons, lighting damage, lighting resistance, lighting resistance, other tools, no. One other weapon, chaos damage. That's a no-brainer. Item sockets are not empty. Oh god, please do something amazing. Level 49. Fuck. Grants 15 life per enemy hit. Adds 1 levels for melee gems at 59 to 84 chaos damage. 56 and 38% mana regeneration. I want to use that so badly, badly, but I'm only level 34. So I fucked that. 
Simple. Keep that in the corner. And we cover that. I have the bag in it. That goes there. You come off. I'm not going to worry about you right now. Let's make you good. Everything on you. What do I have in the way of this shit? Uh, don't want that, don't want that. What is this? Energy shield. Cobra lash. Level 3. Dash charge to bleed. Splitting edge. Peer support. And cold damage. Less than multiple projections. No. Trying to see what I've got available to me. That we can automatically replace with that. That'd be so nice to use that. Okay. Let's see what there is for me to use. Increased evasion. 20% fire resistance. Fascinating attack speed. Why would I not use that? Thank you. I don't have the intelligence for it. I don't have the intelligence for it. Damn it. That had some intelligence. That is, okay, you know what? That's fine. That That's okay. That's okay. That is okay. We'll make up for it somewhere else. Increase attack speed. Don't call no fire resistance use of reaching low life cash resistance lightning resistance chance to gain a frenzy charge and kill change a gain of power charge and kill projectile damage once again I don't see why that's not good. Dexterity and intelligence. Now I should be able to take my clarity and put my clarity back on. Yes, I can. Thank you. So that's going to give me lightning resistance and chaos resistance. Beautiful. 10% chance to gain frenzy. Increased projectile speed per frenzy charge. I need to test that and see if it's any good because if I don't get any frenzy, it won't be worth it. Just have a look at all the uniques that I could potentially put on. 16 fire and cold resistance, 26 in fire damage. No, not going to work for me. Physical damage to attacks adds a 13 to 25 chaos to die. Hold up. Hold up. Chaos damage. That's going to be decent. 730. Okay. Okay. There's potential. We have got potential. We're going to potentially stop with the Cold resistance if I generating mana. If I generating cold resistance, increased mana recovery from flasks. No. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop right there. Let's see what I can do with what I've got, and then we need to try and fix. Then we need to try and fix. Okay, so first things first. What am I looking for on this exactly? So we've got 63, 56, 56. So I need a little bit of fire resistance and cold as well as lightning. Okay. Okay. I am with you. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. This one I might have, might be able to get a deal done for cold and lightning. 
I think we're gonna be better off trying to do this in our hideout. Okay, so if I do this and I say, so I need cold and lightning. Cold and lightning. If I do that, what level am I at the moment? Sorry, level 34. Okay. Cold and lightning resistance, level 34. Okay, so I can't do that one. So the best I can do is that. The best I can do is that for right now. So if we say craft, put that on. Do my defenses 63, 67, 67. That's not bad. However, I'm gonna re roll this shit because I don't like what's on it right now. So, let's do that. Let's get something decent. Basin rating, lighting resistance, not bad. I can get better. Reflex. Physical damage, cold resistance, invasion rating, increased evasion and energy shield. I can get better again. Now let's do this. It's our armor. Okay, so that's at its max. So let's grab a nice upgrade. Cold resistance, lightning resistance, maximum mana, maximum life. I couldn't ask for anything more right now. 63, 62, 64. Okay, if we take this, let's say resistances, cold and lightning, and we do a basic pitch one, craft that on top of everything else. I'm just about maxed out on that. Okay, we just gotta get fire res somewhere. Put fire resistance there. Fire resistance, okay, can't even put any more suffixes on. I know for a fact I can't do shit with these. Okay, you know what? That's that's that that's okay. Sniper's mock and Herald of Agony. That's okay. We're good there. We're good there. <sighs> that's already up to seven hundred and thirty. Now, if we go there and there, 730, okay. I'm gonna go back to the forest encampment quickly. Humanity, fare you well. You have made going. I knew. Thank you for the farewell. I am not. Okay, everybody's good. Uh, what support teams do you have here? Sadism. It's a 4% less duration of elements inflicted with supported skills. Ooh. So it doesn't last as long. Grab that. Nice to shock. Nope. Don't want anything to do with Trinity support. Not worth it. Nightblade. No. Close combat. Deadly ailments. No, no, point blank, culling strike, power charge. Like lost, is there anything in here that's chaos? Desecrate, Herald of Agony, and Forbidden Right. No. Okay, let's go back to Line Eyes and see if Nessa has anything for us. A strange hair. Oh shit, okay. One of those would be nice as well. Which way did we say we we're gonna get there? Yeah, we're gonna go up this way because then it's increased damage, mana, intelligence, and then up this way because that's damage over time. Apply. That alone is already giving me some damage, some increase. Hello. Let's see what she's got to say. So. Support. 
where did it land? Frost attacks, multiple traps, trap, and a cold, lesser multiple traction, additional accuracy, chance to flee, the blind enemy is on a hit. That might not be bad. It does work. Unbound ailments. 41% increase duration of ailments inflicted with supported skills. 44% increased effect on non damage. What? Deal 30%. Unbound ailments. I've already got an unbound ailments. Yes, I do. Void manipulation doesn't work. However, Void Manipulation and Held of Agony work together. So, why do I not have that there? Because I'm an idiot, apparently. So now, Void Manipulation also does more damage, and that's good. Blades, not gonna worry about that right now. That chaos damage, I can't wait to start using this. Okay, I think that's good for now. I need to find another claw, unfortunately. Because, like an idiot, I threw my claw away. Physical damage 515 longs, dictionary physical damage grants life, fire damage, nope. 723. We'll just take this one for now and just use that for now. Farewell. But of course, we're not going to just leave it stock standard, basic bitch. We're going to take it. Sadism support. I don't know what this does. I've got that on over there. Seven fifty six. Seven fifty six. Blind support. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck knows. I'm no expert in this shit. Um first things first. Of course. Physical damage, mana regeneration, fire cold, nope, that shit. I don't do any of the above. Physical damage, fire resistance. Yeah, I can live with that. It's already on 881. I like it. I like it. Can I increase the quality of this motherfucker? Always gonna be a win for me. Can't increase that, can't increase that. That. We can. That. It's already up. 2020. This can go as well. Nothing spectacular in those gloves. I think this counts as armor. No, it's not. Okay. We're looking better. Farewell. Go to Act 3. Let's go to the Ebony Barracks. Let's see how well this worked. So now with that and that on. Oh no, I fucked up. I don't know how long I took. If it's still gonna be there, it's not gonna be there. I have to do that entire thing again. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. That was pretty decent. Yeah, I did my skin. Void manipulation, Harold. And Harold of Agony. Well, I suppose it's three levels. It's just shitty that I have to run the whole thing again. Yeah, I need to go to party. I need to, need to run this shit again.
It's been a grand experiment, Shep. Time we saw the results. Try not to take my work personally, but you piled the big one. That actually went very, very well. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. You have claimed be well. Why is off the board? I actually think that did very well. I'm gonna do that as well. Bring me back something nice, eh? That really was not bad. I'm not going to bother with this right now. Just keep going. Go to there and then we come across into that bot. Okay, so it's a port. Multiplier. Okay, that might be good for later on. Snap the smoke and coblash. We're gonna break the thousand soon. I think it's doing well. Ish. Yeah, I need to find the doom.
this anti trial. I'm not worried about that. Not gonna bother myself with the plume right now. It's not something that I need. I wanna see how well this build handles this dude. I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna die quite a couple of times here. Was desperately compensating for something. Seven eight two seven eight two seventy four. Yeah, our defenses are fine. We're looking good.
a bit longer to get up this freaking mountain. Mountain, this tower, this tower. But it's okay. We have a plan. All this looking. Not shit. But it's definitely an improvement from where it was. Gonna be the ultimate test to see how it how it's come along so far. We're at 950, everything's active. I've dealt with far darker shadows than you, Exile. The damage is not too bad, actually. And I should be able to achieve it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, we got this. Come on, first try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna be really impressed if this takes it. First try. I was not expecting a lot from this build. Come on. Come on. No fucking ways that worked. I always thought you'd be tall. That actually fucking worked. Yeah, color me impressed, because I really fucking am right now. I really am fucking impressed with how that's come along. Get me impressed with that. So, single target damage still something to be desired. Good song, Raven. This is looking good. I'm on Elf. We're not. Efficacy, we've officially broken 1,000. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all.
don't think I need to be doing that right now. We open we Marrakesh. I'm watching you. Okay, while I'm here, I'm just gonna run out. I'm gonna get this done. And I think we're gonna call it there. But I am seriously impressed. With how much better this build has become. Survivability is still a bit of a small problem. Things are looking good. I did not expect this build to get here. It started off very slow. But I think if we continue to level this correctly, it could end up being pretty decent. Just killed an emperor. For the feather that size, I'm going to have to get a bigger cap. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. That. I used to hunt your kind back in. It's actually turned out a lot better than what I ever planned it to. It feels comfortable. It feels powerful. Ah, oh, shit. I did not mean to put that away. Grab some of those. Grab some of those. Keep that. That goes to my stash of uniques, and that goes to my stash of uniques as well. Let's have a quick chat with everybody. I am I am tortured, yes. but wait a moment. I don't have any divination cards as far as I know that are completed. I doubt it though. You walk, act with care. Okay. I honestly think that is going to be as good a place as any for us to leave it for the evening. The build has... It surprised me so far. I mean, if you were here since the beginning of the stream, or if you're watching this after the fact, you would have noticed about an hour ago I was contemplating giving up on the build completely and switching over to something like Righteous Fire or trying something else that might be better. But it looks like the moment we... He leaned onto the uniques, upgraded the weapons, started adding better support gems, and actually 
worked through this skill tree a bit smarter. It looks like things have actually started coming together. The damage output doesn't seem to be horrible. The single target damage has become better. Especially with how shit it was in the beginning. So it's become better for sure. I'd like to see where it can go. So I'm not going to give up on this build. I'm going to see what else we can do. And I mean, we do have... Oh, what is it? Uh, we've got 76 orbs of regret. So we can do quite a bit of respecking if we absolutely have to. If we absolutely have to, we can. So I think I'm excited to see where this is going. But on that note, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for the evening. Thank you very, very much for everybody that joined the stream. I really do appreciate the love and support. I am going to ask if you can help spread the word. Get the channel out there. Promote it on your own social media. Try and get some more viewers in so we can help grow this channel. Help me support. Well, support me by helping me get the channel out there so that I can provide better content for you. And, as you are aware, all of my past live streams will get posted onto my YouTube channel. So, help spread the word there as well. Go subscribe. That way, if you are interested in your past live streams, you want to sit and watch something in the evening, by all means, you can go ahead. But until then, I hope you have a lovely evening and or day, depending on where you are. Look after yourselves and be safe. Thank you.